Hey everyone, this is Artie the Vintage Stitcher. I am back today and I'm gonna do kind of a review of a product um, and kind of a, uh, kind of, it's not really a tutorial, it's a review of a product. Um, I um, work with Annie's Craft Club and they send me projects each month. Um, this is something that you can sign up for. All the, all the links are in the description below. Um, and then I go through and I do their projects on camera for you. Um, so this is something if you have um, ordered the club kits and you're like, oh my God, I'm lost on the instructions or I really want to see how it turns out or I want to see the quality of this these items before I decide to jump in to, um, to what they have to offer. This is the video for you. So this is and I am loving the Annie's clubs, okay? I belong to three of them, so you're going to see more and more of these, a few more of these videos. They send me three each month. I get, this one is the Creative Woman's month, Kit of the Month Club. And it's always some fun, kind of trendy craft that can be done generally under an hour, okay? And they send you everything that you need in the kit, so this is the one we're gonna to do today. I also belong to the Christmas Ornament Club of the month, um, and that should be here like next week. And I also belong to like um, the um, quilters, it's not a block of the month, but it's like a sewing project of the month. And it's, it's a seasonal project of the month. So, um, so for sewers, that's always kind of fun. So it's just a nice variety, but you know, sometimes we like to just do a nice craft. So, um, what they say, they send, and it's such quality prod products. Um, I absolutely love the products. The instructions are very good. Um, they're generally about one page. Um, and then what I do is I kind of take these instructions and I branch out on them a little bit. I kind of make them my own. I use the, these as a general guideline and then I kind of look over them beforehand and go okay this is what I'm going to do this is how I'm going to do it because um I want to make it my own I want to personalize it a little bit okay so this this month we're going to be making this wreath this winter felt wreath now to me this does not look wintry at all this looks like right into spring so what they send you is they send you the the wreath form they send you all the felt strippings. They send you all the felt leaves. And here's what I liked about it. All the felt leaves are pre-cut. If I would have had to sit and cut a thousand of those little leaves, I would have never, ever done this project, okay? Um, so they're all kind of, they're all pre-cut. They're all just gonna pop out of that felt. They send you the ribbon and the hook. <clears throat> the only thing I needed was my scissors, my hot glue, and my mat, okay, or a work surface. They always call for parchment paper or wax paper or something that you can work on um, so that you're not ruining your surface. Now, I looked at this, and I think this ribbon is adorable that comes with it, but we are, I am going into spring, <clears throat> and I definitely want to add a bow to this okay and I have this beautiful beautiful ribbon that I picked up at Hobby Lobby so this is not part of the kit of this beautiful kind of grayish blue and cream ribbon that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I have this ribbon that I have um, I think I picked this up at Dollar General it's just a plain beige and then I have this gray ribbon um, I want to make a really fluffy bow out of that to add to this wreath um so i'm going to be positioning my leaves a little bit differently so that i have room on here for a really pretty bow okay so i have my glue gun warming up and i'm going to kind of read off the instructions there might be some starts and stops because some of this is you know glue a thousand petals <laughs> you're not going to want to sit and watch me glue um, so I'll probably pause the video, do a step, and then come back and do, um, do the next step. 
So the first thing um, they want us to do is to take all of these out of, all the die cuts out of the felt. Um, and they're popping out. I'm gonna just kind of set that off to the side and stack them up. Look at, this is awesome. Like I said, if I were to have to sit and, and I'm doing both sheets at the same time. If I were to have to sit and cut these petals one by one for as many that are on this um, wreath, I would never even consider this project. So they have literally thought of everything. They have thought of the crafter's mind, really. So this is the light gray color. And there's a lot of these leaves. This is the light gray color. Ta-da! Look how quick that is. So I'm gonna set those aside. I'm gonna pop these out. Kind of nice that this just kind of really just takes a few minutes. Um, and I'm not a perfectionist. You guys have been with me long enough to know that um, good enough is beautiful in my eyes. Or just about right is good enough. You know, I'm just, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm going to love it no matter what. And I can already see that my daughter-in-law is going to walk in the house and she's going to fall in love with it because these are totally her colors and she is going to go home with it. And that's kind of why I picked this blue ribbon is because her kitchen is kind of blue and gray and then it's got some gold kind of color striping. So this is totally her vibe. Um, so she might end up with it. This felt is nice and stiff. You can tell it's not, it's not flimsy felt at all. It is, um, it's a nice firm felt. It's got good starch in it. It's going to hold its shape. It's definitely a, a quality felt. <clears throat> yeah, could you imagine cutting all these little leaves? Like, even if they drew the lines on them, I would be <laughs> not wanting to do that. Oh, here's a little spot that just needs to, needs a little snip. Yeah. And I would never get them this perfect. There's no way. There is no way I would get them all this perfect, this size. Okay. Hot glue is hot. Keep glue off your fingers. Wow, they even put a little warning on there. And I'm sure you could do this. If you don't have hot glue, you can use other adhesive, but make sure it is one that will work on multiple surfaces. So I was just gonna say, I bet if you don't have hot glue, you could use Aileen's Tacky Glue. It's just there would be some dry time in between. Um, now this one is three layers, so there's lots of green. I kinda like this green. I don't think it's wintry at all, but that's just me. I, I have more of a primitive, um, more primitive color scheme in my house than. So I kind of like this olive green. Okay, we're almost to the end of this part. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the leaves and then I'm gonna pause it because there's a lot of leaves here and the next little part could get very, very tedious. Okay, all my leaves are out. Ha, ta-da! Look at that. Nice little piles. Not neat little piles, but nice little piles. Okay, so the next step, it says place a drop of glue on bottom of round part of leaf and pin sides together. Hold for a few seconds while glue cools. Okay, so I have my glue on low temp because well, I burn myself. So it looks like all we're doing is on the round part, putting a dot of glue. 
and pinching. Oh, look how cool that is. Look at that. Huh, let's do another one. That's kind of magical. Little dot. Line it up. And fold. I'm just lining my little circles up so that they're even. Doing it right kind of at the bottom. And I'm making a little glue sandwich. Little glue Sammy. All right. So I'm going to pause that. You have to do that to all of these leaves. Okay, so we're going to pause. We'll come back. All right, everyone, I'm back. Okay, so I'm just finishing up gluing my leaves. <clears throat> um, I have to tell you, this gets a little boring. So <laughs> make sure you have your phone on you. You can listen to some music, an audiobook, a Netflix show, um, some floss tube, a craft show, whatever. Um, it took me about 25 minutes to do all, all of the leaves, okay? So... And I mean, we're craft stitchers and crafters. 25 minutes is really not that long, um, but it's very repetitious. So, so just, you know, kind of prepare yourself for with some TV. I'm in my kitchen today because I knew I was going to need a little bit more space than just my little um, tutorial table that I usually work on. So I don't have a TV in here and my phone is set up to do filming. So I didn't want to mess with that. So it's just kind of quiet. Um, my glue stick kept falling out, and every time it fell out and hit the floor, the dog thought I was giving her a treat, and I wasn't. So, okay, on to the next step. So I have all my all my leaves are here. Okay, they're all pinched. They kind of look like that. They all look. They're very cute. They're very very cute. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take these gray strips that they send with us. And I've read this over and over and over again. I just don't, but it doesn't tell me, this next step, it doesn't tell me how many you're going to use. Um, so I, I guess we're just going to be winging it, all right? So it says to take one of these gray strips and place a glue dot about every inch and a half okay so let's see inch and a half that's two four am i right two So about seven dots. So I'm going to kind of get my leaves kind of arranged because they tell you to put them a um, variety of colors and we're going to place them like 45 degree angle. So that seems like that's a lot of leaves. So about every inch and a half. So I'm just kind of spacing them out. So that's two, four, yeah, that's about seven. Okay, so I'm just kind of gonna, I am a little bit more of a prepper. So I don't know, if, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I may want them about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna start on this end and I'm gonna put a dot and glue. And then I think what I'm going to do is go on this end and glue. And then just kind of work my way to the middle, like equally. Does that make sense? Am I thinking this through right? I think we're going to need another green one in there. So you want to evenly space out about seven. That's 
at six. Okay, so mine are not very evenly spaced, but that's all right. Okay, so then, so then you have a strip that looks like this, but evenly spaced, okay, <laughs> about every inch and a half. Then it tells you to flip this strip right over. Now, when you're gluing this, you have to make sure all your leaves are all going in the same direction, okay? When you flip this strip over, and you're going to glue leaves in between the other ones, going in the same direction. Going in the same direction. So I'm gonna turn this towards me so I can see it a little bit better. Yes, with the, so, all right. So I'm looking at the pictures. And the first picture is with the, the, the leaf up, which is what I have. I have the leaf up. And then when you flip it over and the leaf is down, the leaf is down, you want this in the same direction with the leaf up. I think in this, yes, so that the folded parts are touching, the folded parts. Okay, I think I got this. All right, so this time we're gonna, I'm gonna kinda, and we're gonna space it out. Put a leaf over there. We got there too far. And maybe another look. So this is what what our, our it's gonna look like. Okay. All right. So let's do this. They're putting their glue right in the middle of the dots or right in the middle of the strip. All the leaves are kind of facing in the same direction. In between. Mine are in between because they're not perfectly spaced. <laughs> Thank God for, you know, perfectly imperfect. Okay. All right. And then this is what our strips are supposed to look like. That doesn't look right. Because we're going to want all of our... Hmm. That does not look right because you want all your leaves kind of going up, I think. That doesn't look right. Okay, let's try another one. <laughs> all right, let's do this again. Yay. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness. I'll go back and I'll fix that one. I promise <laughs> we won't waste it. Okay. This time, let's get them going. Which direction do we want them going in? Maybe if I'm doing it facing me. Maybe if I'm doing it facing me, it'll be better, okay? Let's give that a try. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get a green in here. What do we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 
This time I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to work my way out. And I'm going to do it the directions facing me. So hopefully then I won't get screwed up on my direct on my Okay. The directions are very clear. Don't get me wrong. I'm just getting confused on. I don't know what I'm getting confused on. but I understand where they're coming from. They want all the leaves going in the same direction. Facing up. And maybe it's just, maybe it's just the way the picture is that I'm not seeing, seeing the way it, okay. So now I have, this looks like this, okay? So when it's facing me, or fa it's gonna be facing you, it's gonna be right. And then it looks like they just turn it upside down. Maybe I'm getting, maybe that's where I'm getting confused. So maybe I need to set my leaves like this so that I can see which direction they need to go in. And this is part of crafting, guys. You kind of have to play with it a little bit. Their directions may not be as clear as what, what we like. Um, there may be a little confusion. Okay, and where are we gonna go with this one? I'm gonna do a white one down here. Okay, so now I know I want all my leaves going this direction and I'm going to be gluing them like this. Does that make sense? So instead of flipping it right away, what I'm doing is I'm laying it out so that I know where I want my leaves and how I want them to look. And I'm going to be laying them in between so that they look like this. And now when I flip this, I can just take this and I can glue, actually I'm going to glue like this, and then you flip. Okay, so I just had to kind of visually lay it out differently in my head. That's all I had to do. Sometimes, sometimes the written word can be very hard to understand. Um, and that's okay. It's oh, it's okay. So I'm laying these out and I'm doing this kind of in between the first ones. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've got two, four. Oh, I'm going to need one more here. Okay, so now when you got your strip, it should look like this. That makes more sense because we're going to be gluing it on to the, the ring and it's going to curve and it's all going to go in direction. Okay, so now I see where I went wrong. I, I was just, I visually could not get it. Does that make sense? So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to work on these strips and then we will be back, okay? So I'm gonna pause again because there's lots of there's lots of leaves here. So we're gonna pause, I will be back. Okay, so here I am doing the last strip. I'm gonna go over this one more time with you. Um, 
It's not that the directions were unclear. I just had to be able to visualize. And quite honestly, I had to have one of these strips like in front of me to do all of them so that I had some sort of visual visual aid <laughs> to be able to figure out what I was doing. And I kind of had to lay each one out how I wanted it. I'm running out of colors here, can you tell? Um, I kind of had to lay them all out. So, and I I did about seven on the front of each strip and seven on the back. So, um, so I'm gonna do this last one. Okay, hey everybody. Sorry about the abrupt kind of stop. My husband came in and he was like, I'm hungry. So we had to kind of stop everything and feed him lunch. Um, so while I was doing that, I finished up these strips, okay? So this is where we were. So this is how you want the strips to look, okay? So like I was saying, each strip has about seven leaves on each side. And I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strips, okay? Um, I don't know that I'll be using them all on my wreath form because remember, I want to add a different bow <clears throat> than what's on here. All right, so then with the remaining strips, you're going to wrap this. Um, and now remember, hot glue does not attach to metal. So it takes a little finagling at first to um, get this wrapped, but all I did was I kind of wrapped the first piece and got it um, glued to itself the felt kind of glued to itself and then um, you just kind of attach the felt pieces like this and then continue wrapping and you just kind of overlap them a little bit you can stretch them a little um, I was all panicked that there wasn't going to be enough for full coverage and oh my god did they have the numbers right and I should, I should always know better. Annie's always sends more than enough supplies for the project, all right? I always get all wigged out. Um, there's plenty. There's plenty. Um, and I probably overlap them a little closer than I needed to. So you probably don't have to overlap them as tight as I did because you just, it's really just a base to glue our leaf strips to, okay? So see, there's plenty. There is plenty. And you just attach them with hot glue. And then you can kind of come back and touch things up if you, if you need to, if there's spots that seem to be pulling apart or pulling away from themselves. But this is how it's all wrapped, okay? Now this is only about maybe a 12 inch, a 12 inch circle. All right. So now this next part, <clears throat> they tell you to take these and to start attaching them on the inside and the outside of your wreath form. Okay. And then kind of just adding them as you need them. So, wow, those really fill in really fast. Just making sure that um, they're going in this in the direction that you want. So, you know, like if you want them all going in the same direction. Okay, so I'm going to start here and I'm going to kind of get this. I'm going to get a, so you, I'm going to take my, So I'm starting this, I'm getting my, you guys see how I'm doing this? And I'm just taking my glue and I'm gluing a section of that felt. And this is what it looks like from the inside. Just gluing it. So I'm gonna kind of tip it to a section and glue 
And this felt really does conform really nicely. Wow. <clears throat> Wow, this is, this is fun. This is really satisfying. <laughs> this part is like really, really satisfying. All right, so there's one of the inside leaves. Let's do one of the outside. And you want them all kind of going in the same direction. All right, so I'm just kind of started about the same spot. Blue, sorry, I was out of camera sight there for a second. And I'm just kind of gluing that edge with the edge of the wreath. See how I'm doing that? Okay. It says to keep the leaves kind of away. You know, you might have to untuck some of the leaves, it says. So I'm going right along the edge of that wreath form with my, with my glue. And this is where you get creative. This is where you add as many or as few leaves as you want, I guess. You know, it doesn't have to be any particular. You start to play with it. Here's where you get creative. But it does fill in awfully quickly. I mean, look at how fast that fills in. So you could definitely, you know, like fluff these leaves. All right, so I'm going to grab another strip and I'm going to do some more on the inside. Making sure all my leaves are going in the same direction. Ooh. Remember, hot glue is hot. I am so loving this. Now I'm gonna kind of leave a gap because I made my bowl already. And it's, it's big. I made a big bowl. All right. Cause I want it to kind of just, I want it to be a kind of a statement piece. I am absolutely loving this project. This is so fun. Okay, actually, this is going, this, this, some of these strips, I think, are longer than the others. I don't know. What did I do? Oh, I spoke, never mind. Duh. The inside circle is smaller than the outside circle. Never mind. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry about this little gap here where, okay, I'm going to show you. This little gap here where the, because that's where I'm going to put my bowl. Okay. So I'm not going to worry about filling that in but this is how it's kind of gluing. And I like it because you know what? It looks pretty on the inside too. All right, so let's do another outside. And it says to just keep alternating it and gluing the leaves in, going in the same direction until you have the fullness that you want. And quite honestly, that is about as full as I want. I don't like an overly stuffed wreath. So I'm going to end up with some extra. 
which is okay because of course my little brain was just a whirling while I was eating lunch. And I'm thinking, I know exactly what, if I have extra, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. And I'm pretty excited about it. So, <clears throat> so now I am just gluing to the outside here. And look at how pretty that is. I am just loving this. Oh my God. So I'm sitting and gluing all these little leaves together. Um, so worth it. So worth it. Oh, so much fun. Now, if you're going to do this project, I highly recommend a glue gun. Um, it's just, if you did this with like a sticky, a tacky glue or something that, that you had to wait for it to dry, it is just going to be torture. It really is. Um, I definitely recommend just get, get a glue gun. Even if you go to the Dollar Tree and get a dollar glue gun, it's going to be much better than, um, waiting on white glue or tacky glue or something to that effect to to dry because um like all those little pinching all those little leaves would would be torture okay so i'm loving i'm gonna it's hard to see and of course you know i always show these in my follow-up videos because my follow-up videos i do um i show like the final product and then I also show what I do extra with because we're going to have some extra leaves. We're going to have some extra stuff. And I'm going to kind of show you what I'm doing with that. So I'm not going to add any more leaves. I think it is very pretty how it is. Um, and then, like I said, I made this huge bow um, for it. And I wanted to really use this bluish color because, like I said, my daughter-in-law's house is this, she does the, the grays. She's not quite farmhouse. She'll just a little bit more modern, but she has blues. She has more blues and these dark grays and blacks and uh, stuff like that. And I just think this would be a really cute addition to like her kitchen or something like that. So I made this bow kind of with her in mind. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to tuck it right in here like this and it's going to have to, and I'm going to leave the tails okay so this is going to take a lot of glue because this is a hefty bow so I get my glue stick in there so I can get my lots and lots of glue and I'm kind of Moving some of those leaves around. I'm getting my tails because there's a lot of glue under there. So I'm getting my tails where I want them to be. I'm getting my leaves where I want them to be. Okay. And I'm letting that dry. I'm going to come in here with some more glue just to make sure that's sturdy. She has four little kids over there. Trust me. It's got to be sturdy. <laughs> she is a, she's an absolute saint. She has four little kids. She has two of her own. She has two little foster sons that they take care of. And she deals with my son on a daily basis. So um, this girl deserves accolades <laughs> every day. Now, I know this is a cross-stitching channel. We do crafts on here also. But... I'm going to, I'm going to gently bring the camera up. Okay. So we can take a look at this in person. So let me bring this camera up. Sorry about my hand in, in, in the way. And you get to see my kitchen. Okay. So this is the finished item. Look how cute that is. Now you can cut these tails however you want. But look at how adorable that is. 
Now you could add more leaves. You could, if you wanted, um, I don't know. I might add another strip in there, but knowing that this is a cross stitch channel, cause I'm a floss tuber, right? Who says you can't hang a cute little welcome cross stitch in here or put something cute dangling in this, in this wreath. How sweet is this wreath? Now this is from, again, remember the Annie's Creative Women's Club. And this is a monthly a subscription kind of thing. Um, so totally fun. I absolutely loved it. I'll probably fluff on this a little bit more. And you'll see it in one of my follow-up videos, one of my daily review videos, okay? So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, um, make comments. Tell me what you would do with this if you have any great ideas. Now, I have four strips left over and I have an idea in my head. I'm gonna show it on a follow-up video. I would love to know in the comments, what would you do with these four strips? I wanna hear all about it. Be kind, spread love, find peace.